I joined last year in Jan, January, end of January, and it's been a year so far. I love working at the Ministry of ICT because I get to interact with the other ladies in tech and I learn a lot from them, those that have gone ahead of me. I look up to our permanent secretary, Dr. Amina Zoede. Career-wise, she inspires most of us. And at the ministry, we've gotten learning opportunities that help us improve on our career, polish up our skills. We've been taken for the COBE training, HC3, and these are improving on our skills. Given where we are going, we are going to need the skills in the tech world. Yeah, and at the ministry, I also got an opportunity to work on a project with the UN Women and African Union. It's called African Girls Can Code. Those are girls in tech. And in this initiative, the UN Women and African Union realized there's a digital gen gender gap in Africa, and they're trying to bridge that gap, targeting about 2,000 girls, putting them in code, training them, giving them skills that will make them employable. And these targeted girls are marginalized girls. The girls deep down in the villages that don't have these opportunities other people get to have. Those are the ones they're going to look for, train them, give them skills. And according to the stories that we, the success stories we listened to when we went to Ethiopia for that conference, they have really pulled through. I saw one of the ladies started up a computer club in her school, robotics. Another built a website where girls can put their merchandise and sell online. So it's a really good program for our girls. So those girls they train will also get other girls they're going to train. So it will be like a network growing women in tech. Yeah. One of the notable things that I learned was that gender inclusivity, where straight from our education sector, from childhood where we learn from, those tech spaces that the children are in, we should make them more appealing, especially to the females, because the men are already sorted. You find the computer labs, the setup is all masculine, the color, the lighting, and then it's not as appealing to the ladies, even those that are interested. Look at a computer lab full of men, I mean boys, and they look and like, I don't think I'm safe in here already. So if we have that gender inclusivity where we uh, make the environment a little bit feminine for them to relate with, yeah? In our workplaces, uh, schools, everywhere tech is involved, you know, add some bit of of stuff that is female related so that we can be comfortable in the space that we are working in, yeah? Well, from my experience, I encourage them to push on. They can make it. Given that we are women, okay, right, our bodies are fragile and delicate, but that doesn't stop our brains from thinking. Women have great minds. We too are capable of changing the world in the tech industry. So us being fragile, actually, that vulnerability makes us stronger because we see places where men don't see. Yeah, we can pick a bag before it gets out. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so we, we are sharp, we are great, we have great minds. And I am asking the men out there to give women an opportunity to express their great minds. Yeah, because usually even in our places, when something happens tech related, the first people they will always think about are the men, unless the men are all not available, that's when now they'll come and press the lady like, do you think you can actually manage this? Like they're saying, you're a woman, but when you handle, yes, we can. And we can do it even better than that. Okay, I look forward to, of course, one, 
finishing my assignment on time and excellently and getting back to the person that assigned me. And then when I'm done with all my work and I get some free time, I sit and code. I, uh, I'm interested in robotics, so when I get free time, I sit and work on my robot, try to see how I can manipulate it to do simple tasks and stuff like that. So it's a robot, it's called Gogobit. I assembled it according to the instructions and then it has a micro bit. A micro bit is its brains. It's the part that you program and put in the robot and the robot will do exactly what you have programmed the micro bit to do. Yeah. So I, I'm excited about this because firstly it was kind of not easy getting um, what is compatible with a micro bit, what works with a micro bit. Yeah? But finally I pulled through, I got a hex that can switch on the micro bit and then make it programmable. So right now it's what I'm working on, trying to see what the abilities the robot has and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a kid's robot when I understand it fully. I can put a, a coaching at my house for kids to come in and learn how to do this thing. Yeah.